You know, now the question becomes, was it a naturally occurring horseshoe bat coronavirus that was isolated in the Wuhan Institute of Virology and then accidentally escaped from the lab by infecting a lab worker? Or was it a, a virus that the researchers there were working on uh, using gain of function uh, technology? Gain of function means that you take uh, an existing coronavirus and you make it more infectious and more deadly. Now, why would you ever engage in gain-of-function research? Why would you ever seek to enhance a natural pathogen in this way to make it more deadly and more infectious? Well, the idea of the scientists, when they first discovered that they could do these things easily by using recombinant technology, was this. We're going to create superbugs in the lab, and we're going to figure out how to defeat them. We're going to develop uh, in theory, we're going to develop uh, vaccines, we're going to develop therapeutic treatments, and so when the real superbug comes on the scene, we will be ready for it. Well, that's all well and good, uh, and that's all fun and games until uh, you create a superbug in the lab and it escapes before you have a chance to develop a vaccine or a therapeutic treatment for it. Now, I'm not saying that's what happened in this, this case, and I'm not saying this is a bioweapon. Quit changing the subject, which is what the other side loves to do. Exactly. I'm just saying was it tinkered on in the lab? And we know that the lab director at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, who was their team leader for virology research, was a woman named Dr. Shi, full Chinese name, Dr. Shi Zhangli, who has been using gain-of-function uh, research for years to create new, more deadly, and more infectious coronaviruses. One of the laboratories, the Wuhan Institute of Virology, was actually working on um, bat-like coronaviruses, and they were actually manipulating and genetically modifying uh, bat-like coronaviruses to make them even more deadly. This is their own study, their own research uh, into this, and, and it's documented in this dossier, and I've read the original studies as well. And Shi Zheng Li, who's now become known as the Batwoman, she's one of the leading virologists and head of this unit. In that study, she herself states that this work, or, or, or the, the study's conclusion states, that this work is so dangerous that the risk of it is that it could lead to a pandemic. And when the, when the outbreak first happened, uh, she herself has given media interviews where she said she had sleepless nights worrying that the virus, that the, the outbreak came from her laboratory. She then says she studied all of the various samples she had, and, you know, we don't know for sure how many she has, but she has a lot of different deadly uh, pathogens and virus samples of coronaviruses. She says she studied them and they didn't, it was, wasn't a genetic match. But given that China has lied, and it's just a fact, they have lied about everything to do with this virus right. so far, how can we take her word for it? There needs well, and, to be an investigation. And we, and we can. Meanwhile, our authorities are saying we know conclusively that it was not manipulated, and that's a lie. We don't know that it was manipulated. We don't know conclusively that it wasn't. Anyone who tells you that we know that conclusively is lying. There's a lot of lying. Tom Cotton, one of Donald Trump's staunchest allies in the Senate, suggested that the virus might have originated in a high-security biochemical lab in China. In the 1980s, I remember when the far left trafficked in rumors about HIV having been invented in CIA labs. The far right has now found its own virus conspiracy theory. What a mediocrity. What a slander. Over at an NBC famed journalist, Brian Williams also refused to engage in journalism. Rather than spend 10 minutes learning about the subject and making up his own mind, Williams simply joined the herd of other dumb people mocking a story they didn't understand. Cotton has been criticized by public health professionals for giving just the whiff of credibility there on television and on social media to a conspiracy theory going around that the coronavirus originated and was perhaps man-made inside a lab in China, perhaps even as a bioweapon, and was released either intentionally or unintentionally deployed. There is no evidence to support that. There is no evidence to support that. Sounds authoritative. Actually, Brian Williams had no idea what he was talking about. At the time he said that, the evidence indeed was accumulating. The Wuhan wet market they're always citing, it turns out it didn't even sell the variety of bats that carry COVID-19. Those bats were hundreds of miles away. A group of Chinese researchers confirmed this fact in January when they interviewed 59 people who worked in the market or shopped there. And that information was widely available. It was online 
when Williams made what he calls his broadcast and issued the airy dismissal you just saw. He just didn't bother to read any of it. None of them did. 